Hey everyone, it's Andrew Warner again from Bot Academy and uh, joining me is Nerida Weaver. She is uh, not just a uh, one of our graduates, but she's someone who's been helping teach other students at Bot Academy how to create chatbots and how to promote themselves as bot makers so that they can get clients. I invited her here to talk about her first client too. Nerida, good to have you here. Thanks, Andrew. Where in the world are you? I'm a bit nervous actually. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Where uh, where in the world are you? This is easy for you. This is going to be easy. We're going to show people how you got your first client and it's stuff that you're totally familiar with. But tell people where you are. Um, so we're based on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland in Australia. So one of the most beautiful parts in the world, I think. Yeah. <laughs> how did you get yeah, your first client? What did you do? Basically, um, it was, I, I had just finished the course, I think. I don't think I, I'd just done my dummy bot and I followed what Bud Academy had taught me and I did outreach on email to people that I was familiar with uh, with their work and I really, you know, like appreciated what they were doing. Yeah. And so I did um, set up a dummy bot for one of them or a demo bot because yeah. um, I knew that she had she had something coming out, maybe a course or something like that. And she had a course that she was kind of seeding for a pre-launch. And um, so I set up a demo for that and I and I emailed it through. And within literally, I think she was about the sixth person that I had emailed. And literally within about half an hour of sending out, I got an email back saying, oh, my God, I love this. This is amazing. Like, let's talk. So that, huh. that was the first one, yeah. And you actually created a demo bot for her that was how sophisticated, how involved? It, oh, look, it wasn't very sophisticated, but um, it, it looked good. Like I copied the branding off her site and I had it all, you know, pictures of her in it. And I think I just had an example of a short flow okay. um, that was relevant to what she was launching. So not um, necessarily something that she could take and have as a permanent bot, but something to give her a taste of what's to come, of how this would work. Did you create yes. a brand new Facebook page and a brand new chatbot or just attach it to one that you already had? I just had it attached to one that I already had. Okay. Um, and I set up a demo landing page and I screenshotted that on the email and made it clickable. Okay. Um, and of course, once she'd clicked it, she was in my bot as well. So I had access to her directly once that happened. So, ah, so she can actually go to a landing page, experience what her users would experience, press the button the way that her users would press it, watch her phone vibrate, get the alert the way that her users would, hit the button and say, oh, this is what Nerida can create for me. I get it now. And now you also have the ability to message her back and forth, which is cool. I've done that. You also mm. can see as soon as she goes in there, right? So you get a sense yeah. of whether she's tried it or not. Exactly. You know exactly who's been in there and what they've clicked. And I, yeah. yeah. So as soon as I saw that she'd been in, I was, and then and she loved it. So. <laughs> and, and you knew her, but you weren't really close with her, right? Had you talked before? No, no. no. We'd never talked before. I, like I um, follow her on socials and stuff. So I, she's from, I mean, I've made comments and things like that. So it was a genuine um, connection that mm -hmm. I had with her. Um, whether she recognized my name, I'm not sure, but yeah. yeah okay. This is a fantastic way also to just reach out to the people whose work you admire, you want to connect with, instead of saying, hey, I'm a fan, I've been watching your stuff forever, to say, here's something I created for you because I'm a fan and show your work, have them get to know you, have them remember you. Um, how many of these did you create? How, or how many people did you reach out to before you got your first client? Well, she was about number six. So number six? <laughs> Can I tell you something that I think every single person here has reached out to fewer than a dozen people. I would actually say six or under. Yeah, I'm going through my notes and got a client. I imagined it would take at least 10, maybe 20 before you get your first client. I know a lot of people who are looking to sign up to Bot Academy. A lot of people who are listening to us say it'll maybe take them 50 before they get a client. Yeah. Does, does six seem typical to you now that you've done it a little bit? Um. It, look, it depends because, of course, I exhausted those people that I was following and that I, you know, genuinely mm -hmm. wanted to work with. Um, we're sort of outside of that now. So you know, it's, it's um, 
cold calling, it's contact, it's making contacts and making connections and doing all those things which are outside those realms now. So it is a different process, I think, that we use now as well. Um, Got it. But certainly, yeah, you know, what, what was taught in Bot Academy, it worked and it worked within six emails. <laughs> That's that's really interesting and good to know. You're saying that the earlier customers might be easier to get because there's a handful of people who you know really well who are mm-hmm. more likely to buy from you and you can create a more tailored pitch for them. Yes, oh. for me anyway, yes. For you anyway yeah. is how it worked out. How, yeah. um, how did you feel after you got that first sale? Oh my God, I was so excited. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I was I was super excited. One, I think, I mean, I, I was nervous as hell because I was still so fresh with mm-hmm. with it. But um, it was it was amazing, and to be able to create something that blew them away. She'd never seen anything like it before. But also, um, you know, to be able to bring that to somebody that whose work I really value, what they're doing in the world. So to be able to bring that to them and go you know, let's, let's help you increase what you're doing and make this better. Um, you know, that it was such, it was awesome. It was amazing. And it still is. Every time we do get a new client, it's exciting. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if that feeling ever goes away. I know for me, I will not look at email during the weekend. I won't look at work. I won't even respond to text messages. Justin Hartman was on here. He, he knows it. Um, there are times when I haven't responded to him for, for days on text but I look at my new customers on a regular basis. It's been years and years since I've been selling and I never feel like, ah, oh, another customer. I'm always looking at it, getting excited. Yeah, definitely. For but, sure. Uh-huh. There's so, so many different um, industries and so many different, you know, the, the applications are endless, essentially. Yeah. So it can, be, it can be put to anything. So no matter if it's something that you're really passionate about or if it's just, you just, you know, want to do reach out and get more clients it really it's endless what you can do with it so it's pretty amazing i like that you (laughs) called it a superpower it does feel like a superpower i remember interviewing on mixergy the founder of wordpress uh matt mullenweg and i said to him weren't you worried that if wordpress didn't work out that you you'd just be flat busted and he said no i said why not he said i'm a developer developers can always get work. And I feel like there are very few people who can say that, especially in the world today, there are fewer and fewer, but people who know how to sell and have the confidence to sell, have that confidence to not just sell, but to do anything, to take bigger risks, to create uh, what they want for themselves. So I like that you called it a superpower here. And you feel like not just your sales ability is a superpower, which obviously we're all developing, but your bot abilities are superpower. What feels most exciting about the ability to create chatbots? Look, I think for me, um, I had I like to continue learning. I like to be challenged, mm-hmm. um, and and it certainly does that. <laughs> it never stops changing, and the rules keep growing. And um, but I think also, you know, just seeing all the different applications. You know, what can we do with this now? And and wow, we it doesn't have to just be like this. We can create these amazing campaigns and collect you know, hundreds of names in a few days. Yeah. So, it's, yeah, it's just, it's so powerful. I think it's, that's exciting and what's changing it all the time. I remember meeting my friend Neil Patel years ago and he had such confidence. Everyone was talking about how they could find a client or investor. He said, I never have problems with that. And I remember asking him, why don't you ever have problems with it? He said, I know SEO. I know how to get people traffic. Everybody wants that power. And at the time, he was one of the few people who got it at a time when people thought that SEO, search engine optimization, was just like this black hat thing that only people who are trying to cheat Google do. But he understood it and he kept at it and he became one of the best people at search engine optimization and one of the best online marketers. And he just kept improving and improving. And you can see the confidence that he has in his marketing abilities today. You can see the mastery of his craft that we don't often get today. He has that You're going to have that. Anyone in chat now has the ability to come in at the beginning, figure this stuff out because the entire universe's chat is still understandable. But figure five years from now when this is on WhatsApp, when it's on Apple's iMessage product, which 
the company I invested in, Assist, built the first one, the first chatbot on iMessage. You can see that this stuff is coming. It's going to become harder and harder to master it. We're at the early stage of it. What advice would you give somebody who's listening to us right now who says, I want to get clients too. I'd like my first client, my first one. What advice would you give to them? Um, look, I think it's the same. Real, realistically, it's the same with any business. I think you just um, first be genuine in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, but also you just need tenacity because it will, you, you'll go through ebbs and flows as with anything. And so, you know, you'll, you'll get those first clients and, and you'll have a big learning curve and all of these sorts of things and then you'll be ready for the next learning curve. And so um, just go for it, I think, you know, and if you don't get it in six or ten, we'll go to 20. And if you don't get it in 20, go to 50. So it's just just keep at it because the, the tech is there and people are, are so excited about the product when they see, when they truly understand the, the power of it. Um, so it's really just finding those right right clients and getting out there and doing it. Um, yeah. Keep <laughs> in college, I used to do door to door sales. And there, if you get rejected, you have to look someone in the face and ask them for the sale and then get rejected right there with other people looking. It was really tough. Online sales is so much easier. You can just say, you know what? I am frustrated with my day. I'm frustrated that I can't do this. I'm frustrated with that. Well, here's my channel to take that frustration out. I wish I could have this. I wish I could do that. Well, here's my channel to go do that quietly without anyone knowing you're rejected. In fact, the rejection is often silence because you don't get a response back. You get to take <laughs> another shot and another shot and another shot. And there's no penalty in this world for taking more and more shots um, and getting more and more clients. But the benefits are so there. If people want to connect with you, what's a good place for them to find you? Um, well, we've got our site, Chatbot Sumo. Uh, dot com and chatbotsumo.com yeah mm -hmm. yeah so you can visit us there um uh, otherwise of course um in the i am in the group not as much as what i'd like to be but <laughs> um i do get into the group whenever i get the chance all right thanks and the group so much too. sorry and the group calls and the too. group calls uh thank you for being so active in those and leading and teaching thank you so much for being on here no worries thanks andrew thank you